Diepsluit is an overcrowded township, rife with poverty and socio-economic problems. Residents come from across the country and other African countries. Diepsluit is full of people that are coming from all over, but unemployment is a big issue here. There is abuse, drug abuse, children abuse, and all that comes in because people are just sitting here they don't have employment. Diana says the high rate of school dropouts prompted Kinsani's collection to build a classroom for additional educational support, but money was a problem. When you look around here in Deep Flute, there's a lot of litter. Plastic is everywhere. So then we decided we want to build an extra class and contribute to the combating of our global warming through collection and repurposing of plastic bottles into eco-bricks. Eco-bricks are a cheaper alternative to conventional building materials and made entirely from waste by filling plastic bottles with sand or other plastic materials and then used to build structures. This first classroom was built entirely with eco-bricks and is now learning space for children and teens from the township. The grade 9 to grade 12, we are really focusing on your STEM subject. We have a teacher who is a qualified teacher that comes every day and teaches each grade. So we schedule them like three classes a day. The initiative is now in its second phase with plans to build three extra classrooms, a library and a recreational center all with eco-bricks. The school will also run on solar energy and make use of recycled water. Diana says members of the Deep Slurt community are driving the project under the NGO's entrepreneurial program. As they come and make eco-brick, we then say, okay, you need stationery. Give me two eco-bricks and I'm going to give you stationery. So it's now eco-brick is becoming a form of currency as well, whereby the locals are coming and when they need certain things that are donated to us, they can make eco-bricks and then we can exchange it for goods.